Uh, let's see. So we got to how we met. Let's see. Uh, okay. That was age of first marriage. Okay. This is really good. So this is eight, yeah, years between age 18 and median age of first marriage. Okay. Women in the United States, 1950 to 2018. Here's, here's the data. Here's the data. Let's look at this. 1950. Oh my goodness. Look at that. Only two, 2.3 years, years between 18 and 20 and their first marriage. So right around Oh, 20, uh, let's say you're, you're 20 years old, ladies, and uh, and three months. That's where you're at. Um, so here we go. It remains pretty constant until uh, right about 1971, and then things start trending up. Hmm. Hmm. What could have happened right in, in the late, mid to late 60s that would have caused this to happen? I just, this is a Scooby-Doo mystery. Thanks, Turd Funny Monkey. Scooby-Doo mystery. Now we look at this and we go all the way up to 20, uh, 16, 2018, right? So nine, nine years between. So you're almost 10 years. We're looking at, oh gosh, I mean, I mean, very close to 10 years here. So you're looking at 28 for women, as I said, in 20, well, this is 2018, but the, the median age of first marriage right now is something like 28.8, 28.7. Maybe it's, maybe it's probably higher than that right now in the U S Okay, so guys, this is not a recent fucking trend. Okay, this is not something that just, just took us by surprise. We don't know what's wrong with these guys. No, this has been happening since I was born. 1968, well, 71. Okay, 1968. Maybe right after that. The date is there. The date is there. I like to do his work here, man. You tell me. Married women, share of, of U.S. married uh, women married at each age in each year. Now we've got, uh, let's see, 1940, 1960, 19, okay, so they do it every 20 years here, okay? So if we go and you look at stuff like this, you see like right around 20, and you go look at 1940, right about there, well, you know, 20 is kind of young, but most, by the time women were 30, they were certainly married. In the 60s, man, the 60s was pretty high. And this is just 2013. I don't have it. I wish I had a, a better data set for you for this one, but this was an American community survey. Um, so 2013, you can see the decline. I would, I would gather that by, let's say 2023, the, that data set would probably be much lower even than that. Uh, if Morgan Stanley is correct in their forecasts here. Okay. So we've got that going on. So there we go. Well, what did happen? I'm I'm sorry. I'm being facetious and, and jacking you around a little bit. But why? Why? What actually happened back then? Hormonal birth control. I keep harping on that. People keep going. Oh, he just thinks the pill did everything. Yeah, I do. I think it's one of the most significant inventions in mankind. I think it will have more impact on humanity, like hormonal, like unilaterally female-controlled hormonal birth control has done more, has, has changed humanity more significantly than atomic weapons. Take that to the fucking bank. I guarantee you. And we're still, we're only 60 some odd years past that. Why do we get the summer of love? Why do we get the free love movement right after that? Why do we get Woodstock and the hippies and, 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 you know, the seventies with, uh, you know, studio 54, man, why do we get uh, key parties and swingers and, and, uh, you know, playboy penthouse hustler, dirty movies and all on up. Why, where, when did all that start guys? When did it start? <laughs> right after the advent of hormonal birth control. 